So, hello. I feel like we've just spoken. <laughs> we did. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you're here for the premiere of Queen of Diamonds. Yes. Um, what do you think of the film? I absolutely loved it. Uh, I realised when I was watching it that I met Naeem at Sprite Fest, I think last year, when he was screening a short film there. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And then I was just amazed. I knew Vincent Camp's work, the artwork from the exhibition last year. I didn't actually get to see the exhibition by seeing the pictures online. I thought, wow, he's got such a sense of a light. He, he, and he's also got such a cinematic feel in his paintings. Absolutely amazing. And looking at them this evening uh, in the gallery here, I'm blown away by it all. So which ones have taken you, um, you know, which one have taken your interest? Because I haven't had a chance to look around yet. So which one should I go and look at? All, all the ones that have got red dots on them, and, and, and they're way out of my price league anyway. But what I really like about it, as I say, is this sense of light. When you're up close to them, which because it's a crowded gallery, so I was like, oh, okay, this looks good, okay, it's interesting. And then when you step back 10 feet, you suddenly think, wow, that is amazing. Um, so that, but I also, there's a, a sketch of Paul Salvino, the actor Paul Salvino, and it's done on grey paper, and I know the technique, so you're using pencil for the shadows and white for the highlights, and just like, he makes it look so effortless, and I'm thinking, yeah, this comes after many, many, many years uh, of experience and raw, unadulterated talent. Um, so yeah, it's, it's extraordinary, extraordinary work. I don't know about you, but at the end of the show, I want to know more about these characters. I want to see them again. Do you feel the same? Yeah, absolutely. I think, in fact, all the characters, I, I think this is the real joy of the short film, Queen and the Diamonds, is because you've got really short time span in which to get to know these characters, but you really do get to know these characters very well. You, there's a lot of backstory to them that's never stated in the film, but you can see that they've really been thinking about this in, you know, in their preparation. And I was talking to Vincent earlier on, and he was saying that, yeah, he'd written biographies for everybody. And I believe there is a feature film plot so I'm or something. Yeah, somewhere out there. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that somehow. Uh, yeah, they managed to do more with it. I loved it, really, really enjoyed it. You might be able to get you in there. You should ask yeah. around. You can put an early word in. Small part. Yeah. I'd be really happy to. Well, it really, it's really be working with very talented people. That's always a great joy for any artist, you know, for any art actor. It's not just, I want to work. Obviously, we do. But to be able to work with somebody who's got such in Vincent's case, um, such a clear vision, visual style, but also in Naeem's case, in terms of being able to bring that to life on the screen. Yeah, absolutely, I'd love to work with either or both of them. Um, so that was the thing. When I looked at his, his, the exhibition last year, I kind of started out by doing modeling for artists, for Clive Barker, for Dave McKean, for John Bolton, not the guy who's just been sacked by Trump, the artist John Bolton. Um, and it's like, yeah, that is really good, for, you know, again, as an actor doing that kind of modeling when you're model modeling, you a lot of modeling for comic books. It's really a fun thing to do as an actor because you don't have any words, you've just got to be there in the moment for the artist, you know, to, to really. So, so yeah, I don't know, I'd love to work with either of them. So of course you've got your one-man show coming up. Um, what can people expect from that? It's only a few weeks away now, so are you prepared? Are you ready? No. <laughs> I must stop being honest about that. No, no. I, I mean, I'm, I was just thinking, it's like, oh, I had this wonderful plan how it was all going to be, you know, this last month was all going to be plain sailing because we got it all nailed up. Naturally, it's changing. It's still evolving. And I think it, when you're actually up on your feet, reading and working with the director now very closely. And stuff is still coming up, but it's like, let's face it, I've lived a long life. 
and I'm only dealing with up until when I make the films. That's still 30 odd years. And so there's a lot. So it's still in a state of flux. It's getting a lot more humour in. I keep on thinking of more tags to put in now. Um, I think that's kind of the exciting stage, you know. It's still got the darkness that I was originally intending to, you know, because we're talking about horror movies. You know, there is a lot that's happened in my past. Making the film's a great fun. So I just wanted to go out there, entertain people, tell stories. What can you expect? Me talking a lot. <laughs> Hopefully the laugh, the audience laughing a lot. Uh, there's a at least a 10 minute Q&A at the end, so people will have a chance to kind of feedback and bounce it. And that bit I'm really looking forward to as well, is actually saying, okay, you know, an, I've talked an awful lot, has it had any thoughts? Um, because obviously I can't tell all the stories from behind the scenes on Hellraiser, Hellbound and, and Nightmare. I think people can expect a really fun evening. Well, good luck with the show. Thank you very um, much. I'm sure it will go very well for you. And uh, nice to see you. you too. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir.